to the station, Kentucky's Conservative Outpost, the only program in Kentucky that deals with news and politics from a conservative perspective. So, so thanks for joining us this week. And we've got a really interesting program. I'm excited to introduce our guest today. Uh, first, I want to introduce my co-host, Jim Waters, and uh, the, the man, the legend, and, and future hip-hop star. And then we have... <laughs> working um, on it. Man, working right. on it. <laughs> and we have uh, a real hip-hop star with us today. Yes. It's uh, Diane Starr, otherwise known as Gucci Grandma. And so we'll explain more about that in a moment. And uh, so, Diane, welcome to the program. And Thank we're you. excited Thank to have you, you here. Um, just to explain uh, to our audience a bit of who, who you are, you, you are a local uh, political activist. You, you've you been involved in local conservative politics for, for quite a while. You have a, a very, very uh, solid uh, reputation and, and name out there, and, and you, you've been involved in many circles, and so we want to learn more about what, you, what you've done. But also, you have an event coming up that you're promoting. It's the... Uh, it's the uh, revival for America with uh, General Flynn. Uh, many many of, uh, folks that have followed conservative politics know that there's a uh, sort of a, a, a traveling a speaking circuit for uh, uh, General Flynn, who was part of the uh, Trump administration, who was basically persecuted by the uh, FBI Absolutely. and all, all this. And so he has, has an amazing story, and he's a real patriot. And so he will be coming to Kentucky, and we'll, we're going we're to talk more about that. But, uh, but Diane, welcome to the show. We're Thank glad you. to have you. Thank you. Yeah, Paul. so... Jim, and uh, Tom. yeah, absolutely. And, you know, of course, we you know, teased the, your intro with the term Gucci Grandma. Well, Gucci Grandma. So, what is Gucci Grandma all about? And and because uh, you don't want to call a lady Grandma very easily, so, so there has to be some context <laughs> to this. So, so the the, the reason why uh, she's known as Gucci Grandma, there, she, you are connected with a a, a hip hop artist, Forgiato Blow, right? That's correct. And, That's yeah. correct. And tell tell me about that connection and what what. Uh, What's happened there recently? There. Well, it, it was. It, it was. <clears throat> I don't believe anything's accident. I think it was a God-given thing. I went there to concrete uh, General Flynn coming, mm -hmm. and for Giotto Blow, they hang in the same circles. They've done videos, believe it or not, together mm. with Flynn. Very, very patriotic. Uh, very mag maga. Yeah. Very maga That's with right. Trump. That's right. And I just went there and uh, to introduce myself and to concrete this event. And lo and behold, something just happened. And I said, I wrote some lines, just making a joke, because mm -hmm. I like to write poetry. And right. he said, let me hear them. So I said, can you come back, go in my studio? He said, I have an idea. And I said, sure. And he said, oh, you have confidence. I said, well, I'm, at this age, you learn to have confidence. You know, <laughs> That's I, right. That's right. I'm almost 72. Wow. And I said, very well. yeah. I, I said very well. uh, you know, I'm not afraid. So mm -hmm. I went in there, and he just popped out with the idea of Gucci Granny, mm -hmm. uh, oh, Grandma's like for Trump, or Granny's for Trump. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he wrote <laughs> the song right there. We shot the song, did the whole That's score, amazing. everything, till 3 in the morning. He wrote wow. it. We were in the studio till like 3.30. Um, and that was the birth of Gucci Granny. Gucci Granny. Next day, we went. He took me to a Roger Stone event uh, dinner, oh, yeah. and he said, "You're going to perform." And I said, "What?" <laughs> he, and I had, I hadn't been out the. He student. believes in grabbing yeah, things. That's right. Right. Let's go. He says, "Let the opportunity don't let it pass you by." Yeah, yeah. And I said, "I don't know it." And he, it'd been ten hours since I yeah. birthed it, sung it, right, and. Uh, Got on the stage and with performing a, it and, yeah. and performed it, <laughs> oh and the lip gracious. sync was funny, yeah. guys, <laughs> oh, yeah. because it was like, uh, yeah. What am I saying? I don't know the lyrics <laughs> yet. Yeah, <laughs> right. still, still learning blinds. That is so was, cool. I knew the yeah, yeah, so cool. yeah, 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 yeah part. Yeah, and, and, and for many that don't know this, you know, there is this whole world of conservative hip hop artists that have that's sort of burgeoned in the Trump era. And it is just fascinating. And it's the really good stuff. This isn't just cheesy. Uh, you know, no. There's some really solid. I like like Tom McDonald. Uh, there's there's a few others that that are just really great music. I mean, just really. And as a matter of fact, it's so so good. It's it's they outsell hip hop artists that are. To, the they're typically mainstream, and, and, right. yeah. and uh, if you go to the uh, Apple iTunes store and look at the number one seller, uh, like even a couple of days ago, well, there's a you know, I think Tom McDonald and Ben Shapiro just did a, <laughs> did, a, did, did, a did a music video the other number one song in the country. I know, I know, and it's like Ben Shapiro, you know, and <laughs> yeah. he's you're rapping about his yarmulke, you know, it's just really really funny. <laughs> so, yeah. But um, but that shows you the power of the conservative movement, the populist movement in this country, and and the, and the fact that and, and hip hop has always been a sort of a uh, uh, sort of the 
music of the people, you know, music of the streets, music of the grassroots, and so it's a it's a beautiful blend of that. Well, and, for and so this long, movement. you know, the left has hijacked, you know, the media, the, the movies, yes. and the, culture, and the entertainment, yeah. and now it's great to see. Uh, those things, you know, interjecting into That's the right. conservative oh, movement absolutely. and the creativity is That's amazing. Right. And just like him grabbing that opportunity, I think we miss opportunities sometimes because we don't just, we think it, well, this won't work, but it's very, well, it's very great. It's I think cool. it's great. Well, let's just go ahead and watch the video. Yeah. How's that? So let's <laughs> just spin up Gucci Grandma with Forgiano Blow and, and Trey. Let's. Ha ha, Gucci Granny in the building. Oh, gee. Ha ha, Republicans, we in the building. Oh, girl. Racks on racks, I got racks on racks. racks. Bring President Trump on back. Woo. Gucci Granny, Gucci Granny. Gucci. Gucci Granny, Gucci Granny. Gucci. Gucci Granny, Gucci Granny. I'm going MAGA. Keep the blicky in my Gucci fan. Uh -huh. Grandma's for Trump. Yeah, 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 Talk yeah. Granny's for Trump. Granny, Gucci Granny. You know I'm dripping in Gucci. Gucci Granny, Gucci Granny. Hey, let me shout out say Tovin. Hey. You know this beat is barking loud as Beethoven. Ooh. Senior citizen, but my neck all golden. I got the block hot, but my wrist all frozen. I froze. You know Grandma got that stupid swag. swag. Hunter Biden couldn't touch me with a stupid bag. Hey. You want those rags, but for Trump, free bands for life. Free bands. Mar Lago with the gang. I do this every night. Gang, Ooh. gang. Maga, maga, gang, gang. 21. All my grannies throwing up the same thing. Teach your little children not to gang bang. 21. Drop the top on the rose. Miss Daisy Stanley swerving both lanes. Yeah. If you going broke, we ain't the same, same. Broke. They thought I left my lights on. It was my shame, shame. shame. Call the fireman. Granny spitting flame, flame. Uh, uh. Now wipe me down and go put me on the campaign. Gucci Granny's legendary name. Gucci Granny, Gucci Granny. Gucci. Gucci Granny, Gucci Granny. Gucci granny, Gucci granny I'm going MAGA Keep the blicky in my Gucci fan Two eggs Grandma's for Trump Yeah, 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 yeah Granny's for Trump Yeah, 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 yeah Woo! Gucci granny, Gucci granny You know I'm dripping in Gucci Gucci granny, Gucci granny I'm just a MAGA girl Riding on that Trump train All these diamonds on my chain Yeah, that's a MAGA bling Call me OG, I'm the old girl Gangs of grandma going Gucci in this man. And that is, that's awesome. That's great. That is so cool. I love it. And uh, I saw you bobbing your, your, your nodding your head over there. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. You're rolling no, that I mean, beat. Yeah. That is good stuff. And, and, and I think you know the it. lyrics now. You, you, were, you, were, you were mouthing yeah, you some, were. Of the, some of the lyrics. Oh, so, yes, so I yes. think you've learned your lines now. That's really good. I have. So that's, well, that is amazing. That is awesome work. Good, good job. And that, how fun to, to do that. And, it and, was um, so fun. Yeah. And, uh, I, I sometimes take the opportunity to explain to people some of the words, as I said to Jim before the show, yeah. the urbanonics of it. I didn't understand what Blicky was. I didn't yeah. understand. <laughs> that's uh, right. There's a lot of slang that's popular. Yes, that just, yes. Know, well, what but is, it's for Gucci. The, like Gucci means good. It means good. kind of, yeah, it's right. It's, like, it's kind of cool, you know. And keep yeah. the block hot means there's trouble in the streets. Stay inside. Oh, okay. So we got the, the block is hot. Don't go outside. Oh, yeah. Um, and yeah. then the that rest fits. of it's kind of self-explanatory. Most of it is, but yeah. but I was like, oh, okay, I, you know. I, I love it. Well, have you heard from young people on this and people that have been influenced by by this? Is a great way to influence and impress people. I well, think, about. It, the the thing was, uh, and and Forgiato says a, a lot to me, and we we had a long discussion. I'm bridging the gap. We have to reach. We can't reach people. The young people don't respond to me getting up. And I'm a, a preacher's kid. Mm. Um, you know who sings if, if, the, if there's nobody at church? Right, yeah, <laughs> the right. preacher's kid. Right. Yeah, that's so right, yeah. I, I said, I could get up and sing Amazing Grace all day long, and they would turn away, wouldn't listen. And, yeah. But if I got up and I appealed to them and let them know if there's things going on in the hip-hop world mm -hmm. that are not all nasty curse words right, and there is right. a there's a, a a fraction of people out there that they really don't listen to her to watch it mm -hmm. and they said look what you've done mm -hmm. look what you've done and as mm -hmm. i said clutched their pearls and said oh no no well she, she yeah. but the thing is then <laughs> yeah. there's a lot of them yeah i've read the comments and they, they're heinous yeah. a lot of them are by young kids and a lot of them aren't but well, just for there's a lot of really good ones yeah. that say if you're willing to do this at this age yeah. you're willing to try to to uh to 
to make the age gap. And right. uh, the Trump Latinos, um, if I may quote them, said, MAGA has no age, color, or race. Democracy. Misinformation poses a threat to our nation's health. Climate change is an emergency. Democratic socialism. Codified. More right to choose. Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15. negativity toward MAGA. You know, it, it yes. adds a different perspective for yeah. young people. I, I think it's a yeah, creative absolutely. and interesting approach. I yeah. really do. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't even listen to the, the negative comments. I mean, haters yeah. are going to hate. You know, as, as you say, gonna haters are going to hate. Gonna but hate. they're watching it. So, but they're watching. That's and, right. And, and, they're you know, watching. and they want, they're not going to hate you. You're not going to find the haters unless you're actually making an impact. You know, it's, I think Steve Bannon says that a lot. You know, you, you start getting flack when you're over the target. You're over you know? the target yeah. And so, so that means you're actually, if people are <laughs> actually giving you negative feedback, that means you're being effective. And so that you, you ought to just kind of rally, you know, uh, revel on that. Yeah, the, but, news, um, the Newsweek thing, Got, I, I got woken up in the morning and said, did you know you made Newsweek? I said, You made what? Newsweek. I didn't know this. Yeah, really. Oh, yeah, and okay. they woke up and said, pro-Trump granny uh, makes waves, a flood of memes and jokes. It was on Newsweek. And I yeah, was like, yeah. That's great. Oh, I love so, it. And you I know what? It. The that's thing fun. is that when you read the article, it's really great. Yeah, that's it really, re really, yeah. It, yeah. it wasn't totally against yeah. me. It did yeah. say those things, but yeah. it was wow. like. Well, it's such, a, it's such a creative approach. It's hard not to like it, even if you're not a Trump fan. I right. Mean, oh, yeah. but, but, right. It, but if you're deciding, if you're reaching those people or trying to decide, or maybe young right. people, you can you can uh, influence them that way, positive, right. in a positive way. You know? yeah. Well, and, and, and though I think Trump started MAGA, mm -hmm. the really, the words make America great again is really the theme. Mm -hmm. That's right. No That's matter right. what it takes for us to fight against the left. That's right. Whatever methodology we use. Yeah. But they well, use it. They've always, they've used these uh, approaches and yeah. now it's great to see it from Yeah. Well, well, well tell, tell us a little, bit, a little bit about Diane Starr prior to Gucci Grandma. So, because you, you, you've done a lot of work uh, in, in, in Political circles here locally, and and obviously you have an event we're going to talk about here in a moment. So, but what 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 uh, what motivated you to get involved in politics and, and and be an activist? So to speak. Well, my husband is ex-military, and we were just starting to see the decline. It's just post. This is just prior to COVID when mm -hmm. they introduced the, the isolation and fear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But. Um, we were just being old, and I was just sitting on the couch. To, I, I've, I've always been a, a opportunist as far as to get involved in something, church, mm -hmm. volunteer, something. Mm -hmm. But then he said, "Let's let's support this cause." It was a cause. It's a, uh, if I, I may say it, yeah, sure. That we believed in. It was COS, and we thought, "Well, we need term limits." Mm. So there we go. at that juncture, I began going around, and I have a voice, and I'm, I'm not afraid to speak. So as I begin to spoke. Uh, uh, speak about certain things. Somebody came up to me that wanted to run for Congress and said, "Listen, I'm thinking of running for Congress. Would you join and like be my campaign manager really? or strategist?" Okay. okay. And I said, "Well, sure. I, I've always believed that go for the moon." Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so I said, "Sure." So, I, and, but you've never done that before. You've never, you've never been a campaign never, manager. Never. There you go. Never. Fake it till you make it. The, the biggest. <laughs> exactly. I've been a 4-H leader, if you count that. I took the kids right. to Washington to watch yeah, an inauguration. That's a, right, that's, right. You learn a lot of things oh. by doing those. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Yeah. And it's a, it's it's the lack of fear. You must not fear right. the, the unknown. Yeah. You have to. How do we learn? How do we move on? How do we invent? 
and how do we beat the other side unless start. we start? Yeah. So I jumped unless in. Unless you start. I think that you just said the key. You got to start. Start. And I think momentum is more important than knowing what you're doing. It is. Because if you just step out and start doing something, you'll figure it out. You know, That's but if right. you But if you never, you know, right. not, you, you know, but most people over plan things. They overthink things and they don't start. And because they think they have to have it perfect before they go out, you know. But, you know, every general knows this. If when you're fighting a battle, you can have the perfect battle plan. But as soon as the first bullet goes off, you know, it, if, if your plan changes, you have to be adjust. You have to be flexible anyway. So, so the key is just to be have momentum. Get out there and start doing things, and you'll figure it out. You'll connect with people. You'll, you know, it's just momentum. So I'm, how, I love how you. How many candidates, when you, do that. you know, people would mm -hmm. step up and run. Good conservatives, yeah. you know, would should step up and run, right. but they don't because they don't have it all figured out. That's right. right. Don't let that stop yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. And just, your your I think your uh, presence and your approach could help people with that. absolutely. Really do, yeah. yeah. Well, you could read the Art of War. Are you wanted to, but if you've mm -hmm. never implemented any of the wisdom, <laughs> there right, we go. you couldn't compound right. the momentum. That's right. You, That's unless you took Alf and just said, okay, I don't understand everything like you said yeah. in this book, but I hear more, more volunteers say, I don't know where to start than anything I ever hear. Mm -hmm. I said, what? Misinformation poses a threat to our nation's health. Climate change is an emergency. Democratic socialism. Codify. Everyone's right to choose. Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15. We didn't know General Flynn was coming, so it's like, we, so this shows you how conservatives, we need to work together. Yes. Not worry about who's, you know, territory and all that. It's not worried. No. Well, you know, my, my philosophy is just help good people get where they're going. Don't worry about all that stuff, and it all works out because you build relationships. Right. And, you, and you get the movement moving down down the, down the road. I did so, see a Facebook yeah. ad about it, but, you know, or somewhere along the line, but I, not, I didn't really know anything about I, it. I, I, we, I didn't, no, you know, I really didn't. So, yeah, so, so, so it's money, and let's get the, the, the times and dates so it's Monday night, uh, the, the 19th. What time is it? Uh, uh, if it's a meet and greet, if you buy the VIP ticket, then you meet and greet uh, with him in the green room and the boys. Oh, the really? You actually can Trump meet? Trump Latinos. Meet oh, the yes. Oh, a picture awesome. with him. Oh, wow, wow. Um, and there'll okay. be like hors d'oeuvres served. So that's, yeah. I would say arrive at 430. The meet and greet starts at 5. Yeah. Uh, the general admission starts, you can come in at 5 and, and you'll be seated okay. accordingly. Where, um, Perfect. And it starts at? Yeah, main six. Printer, six o'clock. Yeah, six it is a nine. ticketed event. It is a t limit, limited ticket. So, so limited I think the, tickets. Yeah, the, the tickets are on. Actually, there, there's a slight discount right now, right? I think. Oh, they, we they, just last yeah. night. The, the thing is, it's hard. We're a small group. Yeah. And this was a big venture. I just went for it. Yeah. You know, and he yeah. just picked it up, Great. and I'm saying, wow. And then everybody yeah. just, it just started differently. So I went for it. Um, not knowing some of the particulars of a larger event such yeah. as planned. I thought every Kentuckian, Jim, would flock to see this iconic right. speaker. Yeah, right. And yeah. it's not so. Yeah. Well, then we found out people don't know and didn't know, so the ticket sales were, you know, they yeah, were lower. Just, yeah, right. Yeah. And I'm like, so I, you know, I think it's permissible for me to say any donors or sponsors that right. we could get, mm -hmm. please. Sure. Um, please reach out to uh, yeah. Tom, if you would, or Jim. Yeah. yeah. And, or you can um, go, to, go to a website. It's, yes, it's they can a, go to the website. You know, R, R, can, W, F, Forum. K, 
KY.org. It's the Republican Women's Forum. That's right. Of Kentucky.org, and you can buy tickets there. Buy and tickets I think, there. I think we'll try to pull that up on the screen here in a minute. So we don't see have that. anything for donate. We've not been that before yeah. uh, this event, as you know, Jim. Every event, yeah. you know, requires that. Can you buy tickets at the door if you? Were, you can buy tickets yeah. at the door. Okay. You can right. donate. You can reach out even there in an info be a sponsor, mail. but if you want to be a sponsor, you can. Reach do out. it through the website, right? Or you on, could reach out or, through an or email out. or okay. reach out through me. My my name is on all the flyers with okay. my phone number if you'd like okay. to be a sponsor. Yeah, and we'll, we'll put your email up on the screen as well. Okay, and that's, so, that's, yeah. now that's perfect. So yeah. we're excited. I, I don't try to do anything that's mediocre. You guys probably know that kind of about me now. Yeah, yeah. So this is yeah. going to be one heck of an event. We have, yeah. uh, I hate to use the word diverse, but... Mm -hmm. I mean it in the good terminology. Mm -hmm. Diverse speakers or some that are um, going to be uh, Christian singers. Right. There's going to be the Hip Hop to Reach the Youth Ministry. Mm -hmm. uh, just bridging, like I said before, and I hate to be redundant, but for this nation, in this climate, in this time, 2024 is going to be the year. Yeah. I yeah. feel it. I feel and, it. And I think, Tom, that, again, the importance of this media outlet, you know, ah. with future events to, yes. to, to really make this a place where Absolutely. people can find out about that. So, Absolutely. Yeah. So, 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 and so it, what's in it? You're from Louisville. You're from this area, correct? I was You're, actually born here, moved away, and moved back. Moved yes. back. Okay, great. Good, good. So you, you follow Kentucky politics as well. Uh, and, yes, and, I do. And, of course, and national politics. So, um what what are some of the issues that really move you right now? Well, what are what are you really concerned about? You mentioned twenty twenty four year twenty twenty four being a pivotal year. Uh, so obviously we have the presidential election, but but what what are some of the ideas and, and issues that are really concerning you that, that motivates you to get involved in in politics locally? Well, the children, yeah, absolutely the children, mm -hmm. the slow insidious creep up of the indoctrination, and then that yeah. much more when the pan pandemic occurred. Right. Yeah. Uh, and then I started seeing uh, the human trafficking in between 23 and 20, hmm. uh, 22 and 23, human trafficking for children in mm -hmm. Kentucky alone grew 70%. Yeah. Do and, this. you know, there are things that we... And that's, that's tied into to immigration problems, the border, all yes. this, all this yes. stuff. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so that's a huge issue. Obviously, and you mentioned the children, so you're talking about the, the woke indoctrination in schools. Yes, that's in correct. Words. So, that's yeah, correct. so how, we're, how we're just ruining a, gener a generation of children with uh, just these lies, and uh, Marxist lies, yeah. yeah. We have to say, Jim, that we know that everybody that's Republican isn't a true Republican. Yeah. We know that there are rhinos. Well, I would corruption. say everybody who says they're con Republican isn't a true conservative. <laughs> uh, I like that better. You know, that yeah. I like that better. But you talk about our children and our future generations. Amen. You know? And it, like Ronald Reagan said, you know, freedom isn't handed down in the nope. bloodstream. It must be passed down. It must be by each generation, right? And That's right. I think it's we're, we kind of laugh about the, the video and all that, and it's humorous. But finding ways to do that you know, is important. It really is. Finding ways to reach young people and, and, and talk their language, you know? That's right. And, uh, that's right. So, and then having, and then having you connected with General Flynn, I think that's just, you know, I, it's, think, it's, it's I think that'll get, I think that'll help uh, a, di a wider audience pay yeah. attention to what he's yeah. saying. You oh, know? I yeah. Think and, and just your yeah. story as well. I think it's yeah. just going to inspire our viewers to just to get involved. And, and, uh, you, you were, you were just the, the average everyday, uh, uh, mother, Grandma. grandmother, just, just sitting on the couch. And say, you you know can what? say it. Though. Yeah, the, the, the world. Yeah, okay. yeah, you listen. The world needs my help. You know, and it, it really does. It, it, yeah. Everybody watching has a role to play right now. Well, we're in a cultural battle. We're in a spiritual battle. We're Amen. In a political battle. Amen. And everybody watching, you have a role. I mean, at the very least, vote. Right. The very least. That's but that's the minimum you should be doing. Uh, there's there's more to be done because the, there's almost like a counter revolution that we need to d develop here. You know, yeah. this the, the America's gone through. This basically a cultural revolution on it is. many levels over the past it 10 is. years, and you all feel it. It's totally something's weird. We're not America right now. We don't feel like we were America right now, and there's a reason for that because of this this movement. And so we need to push back, and and it's happening. 
and, and you're not alone. I want you to know you're not alone. There's people like Diane, there's people like Jim, myself, the show. Uh, so there, there's a community. There's there's hip hop artists out there that are writing songs Tom about wants this. To be hip -hop. So I want to be hip hop. Tom, Tom, Tom <laughs> wants to rap. I want to do my gang signs. You know. But what about Trump out yeah, in but, these yeah, early I, times? Yeah, what about well, these? Yeah, well, these we'll, wins. We, we, we got to wrap this yeah. up because we're running out of time. So well, I'm going to wrap the show up, and I hate to do this, but let me. Uh, so the the, the event is. Um, on the 19th. And February is, 19th, uh, February President's 19th, Day. President's Day. It's called, uh, again, what, what's the name of the event? RWF presents American Revival Project. American Revival Project with General Flynn. And uh, and it's and so it's a, it's a Monday night on the 19th, and there are tickets. How much are the tickets right now? They're, they're right now we just cut them in half. So, okay. We just basically cut them in half. The they're, general mission is 40. Forty dollars. I want to see the people hear him rather than. Yeah, that's right. We're yeah. not making. We're not there to make money. No, it's, this isn't a. Yeah, you know, it's not to make a profit. Mm -hmm. But this this is just to get the message out and to cover the cost of the building and and, and that sort of thing. So and you can get tickets at the door as well. At the and door. So, very good. And uh, Jim, I'll let you have the final word. But, but yeah, no, I just go. think what's happened with Trump. You know, and people should not just pay attention to the left wing corporate media to get their signals no. about what's happening. That's right. Look at what's happened in these primaries. So thank you for what you're doing. I think oh. it's huge. And let's yeah. try to find ways to reach our next generation. I think it's big. Well, I and want to uh, thank you guys because yeah. what you're doing now and in the future is absolutely so important. I, I'm so excited to do things in the future yeah, with you as absolutely. well. Let's, and let's, just, let's do it. Come on back. Let's, let's do, do it. Let's do a song. Let's do <laughs> Tom, see, I'm <laughs> telling you. He's let's like, throw up uh, Gucci Granny. I'll let right you all, I'll, I'll, do, I'll work on Come better. Come on, Jim. Okay, so. well, you're watching the station. We'll see you next week. Climate change is an emergency. Democratic socialism. Codify. Everyone's right to choose. Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15.